Hey guys, Crew Blind way back, and I'm Shane. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Back here again with Dexter. Mm -hmm. What happened last time? It's great to see he's on the road to recovery. He's attending <laughs> anonymous meetings. Yep. Yeah. Talking about his inner demons, his dark passenger. I'm sure, it's very hard to do that too. With, you know, his his uh, what, what his sponsor. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Lila. Lila. He'll make that sacrifice <laughs> for all <of> mankind. <laughs> yep. We just saw that and gave the people's eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, what pretty the much. What is going on over here? Yeah, and and Dokes, uh, he's he's buying it. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. He seems to be backing off. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Deb pieced it together that the victims, several of them, seem to be criminals so far. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, the main detective Lundy, uh, piece assumed or um, gave reason of maybe he has some sort of warped sense of justice, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which. Yeah. I don't feel like it's that worked. <laughs> no, like you said, the Most only... Most of them deserve what they get. Well, they said the only time you can kill someone is if they're going to take an innocent life. Yeah. Well, that's the only time it's justified. Yeah. There's a big difference. <laughs> you can, and it, well, it's justified. You know what I yeah. Yeah. To be justified needs a justifier, you know? Yeah. Absent of that, it's a terrible thing. Um, you know, but, you know, what's interesting is I think the show, to me, makes it pretty clear that he has to kill. It just... His, he has the system, so he kills the right people. Yeah. So he can, can, you know, continue killing and fulfill that that dark passenger's need and Although doing a public service. Went well. a while without it. But yeah, but it was definitely group, affecting man. him. Yeah. Um, it was affecting his work. It was affecting his relationships and his well-being. Yeah. As crazy as that is, like serial serial killers got to be happy in their work too. Yeah, I'm, well, I wonder if that was more him having to kill his brother than going a while without killing anyone. At least that seems to, like, you know, he saw his dead brother yeah. next to him and everything. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's definitely part of it. Maybe it's just habit now. Yeah. Maybe. It's like a smoking habit. He just got a break. But right now... I don't think so. He's, he's got to hide. <laughs> he's got to not get caught. Yep. He's got to play it cool, play it safe. I mean, he can't continue dumping bodies where he was dumping them, so... Well, he found a new place. It's a nice place. Yeah. Wonderful place. <laughs> what do you boys think? Was oh, that, shit! It was a hell of an episode. That was yeah. a hell of an episode. That yeah. was great. Loved yeah. everything about it. I love Lila. How she goes around stealing shit. <laughs> she's a free spirit. It's it's very attractive. You know, what I mean, it, he's kind of a, he's kind of oblivious to it. Doesn't feel the same kind of emotions I think that we do, even though he's growing. But she might really help him. Yeah, maybe. Some way. We'll, we'll see. It makes so much sense now with Lagorda. How that all played out. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't see that. <laughs> I literally forgot. Yeah. Yeah, I literally had. So I was like, no, this shit makes sense with her character and like how she's helping out. Her boss and everything, but now it all makes perfect sense. Good like, job, Joe. You got me. It was so obvious yet surprising. Like when she was laying there in the bed, like I didn't even see that it was Laguerta at first. Yeah, like, me either. Not in like a racist way, but like I just thought that that was his girlfriend. I didn't question it. Well, I felt like no, no, no. Oh, I shit. saw her, but I thought she was like having sex with Lundy or something. To, to try and get in that way. Yeah. But nope. Yeah, they're both pieces of shit. Oh, man. You know? She shouldn't do that to a co-worker. For, no. To get a political ad, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, she was... shouldn't. But, I mean, Esme was also not fit for the job either. No, but she... But she caused that situation. I mean, she, she did. She did. But... Well, think about maybe if she has one weakness and that's it. You know, and if that never happened, it never would have surfaced and yeah. she might have done a good job. Like, when she Maybe. was there for, like, her first week or whatever, like, she was on a ball. She was doing work. She was getting it done and everything. Then after that, all these fiancé problems started rolling in. I mean, I just think that's, for LaGorta to do that, that's that's risky as shit. Yeah, because yeah. what if he says something? What if he says something? What if it blows up? What if you get caught? You know what I mean? I mean, he's, maybe he's not going to say anything if he still wants to be with Esme. I figured, yeah. You know, but, yeah. but, if, but if that falls out, he might just... Well, well just a that's long... the thing, too, is, like... After LaGuardia got what she wanted, like, she dumped him. Yeah. And he still knows, like, even though Esme lost her job, he still knows that that's what 
it happened. But like I said, you might not ever tell her. Tidal wave of of shit. Yeah. It also explains why she wasn't hitting on Dexter. She's already getting it from some other guy. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. You're right. <laughs> That's a dirty move. Man. Well played. What a but move. Dirty. What a. What I have a, a newfound respect. I do too. For LaGuardia. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're terrible people, right? What a play. Yeah. I'm impressed at how much I disrespect her. <laughs> Esme should have been like, it smells like a woman. I know this smell. Yeah. Like, right. I recognize this perfume. You know, one time uh, before Joy and I got married, uh, we, were lay- we, were, we were just laying uh, in her bed, and we weren't doing anything. Like, I, we just took a nap. You know what I mean? I, you'll, you'll do that. And her mom was there, like, that night. And she's like, I smell shit in this bed. Like women, they got that magic nose. You know I mean? <laughs> well, of course, I was like, we didn't do anything. But who would believe that shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just, it, normally we did. It's just that time we didn't. Yeah. Which makes me mad. Yeah, because she's right, but she wasn't right about that time. <laughs> ah, so we met Rita's mom, Gail. Yeah. Gail. Who was that third year school teacher? Mm. She's on the side of the Bay Harbor Butcher, who a lot of people in this world seem to be. Yeah, all the news anchors and everything are saying, yeah, keep up the great work. You know, better than that city hall. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but she feels that Dexter's hiding something. Yeah. Now he's a good actor. So Dex is going to have to shoot her up with heroin too, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> now Rita knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, she, if he uses the same M.O., yeah, that was awesome with Dokes as well. Like, he's he's got these demons. We found out a little bit more about his past, why he broke up with his wife. That, that I don't want to say it's admirable, but it's it's an interest it's an interesting thing for him. To, it's actually it was a really cool line. You yeah, know, he left her so he wouldn't kill her himself. Yeah, he he looked into the mirror with this other guy, um, Barnes, of like, yeah, I could have been that guy. Yeah, I had no left. So then the son of a bitch made him shoot him. Yeah. Well, he wasn't going back. Well, not back. He wasn't going to prison. He wasn't going to jail. Yeah. What do you go? Oh, you know, when he kept saying, "I didn't mean to," I wonder what he meant by that. I, I assume he just got so mad. Yeah. But I, he had his gun on him, though. Either. You know? Maybe he had PTSD, I mean, like an episode yeah. or something. Yeah. It, it could have. I happened. mean, he mentioned, you know, waking up screaming in the night, something like that. You know. Pension Have walls. these? Oh, what are they called? Like flashbacks? No, like waking nightmares. What are, they, what are they called? I can't remember. Night terrors? Like, I don't know. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, don't know. You're, you're awake, but you're seeing things in your dream. Or it could have been a flashback. Could have been a flashback. Could have been any number of things. I mean, <clears throat> those guys go through some terrible shit, and there's, like, no outlet for that. Yep. Sucks for dope. Especially back then. Like, it hasn't been until later years where we've started understanding, like, how to, how to deal with it and how to help guys coming back because honestly through like the gulf war and everything till now suicide rates are higher than uh, combat losses combat deaths it's it's insane for a long time nothing was being done about it now it's rough stuff and it's not gonna help dokes's psychological profile no, either he's probably glad that he was the one to do it rather than you know some beat cop or something like that but maybe it's just shitty. Yeah, he felt bad for him. That, you know, that sucks, yeah. but... I mean, that could have been him. <clears throat> it could have, easily. yeah. And then, uh, Dexter sabotaged the body storage. Garbage people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it didn't help. Because I it's mean, all about the rocks, baby. Those garbage men, they already have a thankless job. And then they're blamed <laughs> for this. <laughs> yeah. Those poor men. Those poor yeah. men. Um, I love Masuka. Yeah. Yeah, he's I, It's I funny how Masuka, he was yeah. like, yeah, he, how he, t- he talked about the marine biologist vomited, and he's like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they were already making fun of the marine biologist for being, like, a diva. Yeah. yeah. Or, a prima donna. Prima donna, like yeah. Yeah. But the evidence was on the rocks. And so, I wonder how many boats are in a marina in Miami. I mean... Like, how, how much of a spotlight does that put on them? Uh, obviously, it's not great, but are we talking like 100? Close I think if they that, narrowed it down say. to the marina, say there's like 50 oh. to 100. I mean, they, they'll go through, they'll come through everyone oh, yeah. real well and say, well, this guy has access to this. He's a smart, he's smart, you know. It's not great. So he's got to go and kill that maroon biologist, I guess. Steal the evidence back. Mm, no, 
because that's that would not be good. That would narrow down the people <laughs> who know about where the evidence is and what's being done and everything even more. It would prove that it's happening from the inside. He just kills him. He puts. He takes his laptop, puts a poster on his Facebook, examining these rocks for big murder case. Send. Done. No. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like Dexter works in forensics when, I don't know, like it, it, he would have thought of that. Like, like, you know, like it seems like the way he kills everyone and cuts up the bodies, he's, he's pretty surgical about that. But like, he would, I think he would just understand like, well, the other process of getting the rocks, like that's... You know, you look at all the ways you do it, and you gotta make, you gotta consider all the ways you might contaminate the scene. Uh, yeah. I figured he would consider all that. Yeah. Like his hair could just fucking fall in the bag when he's gonna rock. You know what I mean? So. True. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, he, he never expected them to be found. I don't think. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the reason why he was putting them in that crevice. I just feel like that's something that could have been easily avoided. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, like rocks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rocks you find on the ground. Fucking algae. You yep. know what yeah. I mean? Algae got them. We didn't get them yet. That's but, true. Yeah, we'll see what happens in a week with the marine biologist. And for us, wait a minute, I'll say Deb. Anything about Deb? I thought it was really clever how she handcuffed the guy to the bed. Yeah. Because the last guy to tried to sure kill her. sure he wouldn't yeah. kill her. <laughs> I thought that was a really good move. Yeah. 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 It makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's a good way to build trust. <laughs> <laughs> well, is she just lucky that he didn't recognize her also? Because it seemed like everyone sure. knew her, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or he did, and he just didn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I saw a real fucking hot celebrity, like, at a gym, I would act like I didn't know her. You know what I mean? Paid off for him. Yeah, I did. Hopefully he's not a serial killer, too. If yeah. he just cheats on his taxes or some shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe like me and Aaron. <laughs> Lila was fascinated by the corpses. She wasn't the disgusted least bit disgusted or anything like that. It definitely intrigued Dexter. Yeah. You know, it, it, it almost looked like he was fascinated to the point of, of the attraction. attraction. Yeah. That's it, though. Uh, let's see what happens with the rocks in a week. In a week. Yeah. yeah. You want to skip a week? You can right now by going to patreon.com slash blindwave and watching it right now. Yep, check yeah. out early access and also full length of our reactions. Yep. Also, check out our store. Yeah, yeah. blindwave.net's got this and the early access and the full length as well. That's awesome. And check that out. Check it out for WaveCon as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to come meet us. If you yeah. know Miami. <laughs>